African God not uh didn't hit the balls. Here we go. Caleb goes right to the middle of the ring. Very intense. Ooh. Try to time him right off the row. Nice. Beautiful jab there. Very fast. Nice. Speed. Sinkfield with a beautiful jab. Nice head movement. Nice head movement. He's rolling with the punches. Okay. A little grimy. Yeah. It's a fight at the end of the day. Hey, it's the fight game. If you ain't cheating, <laughs> you, you ain't, ain't trying. That right? exactly. <laughs> the mobile way. <laughs> nice jab, man. The African guy definitely seems like the faster fighter. For sure. Lighter on the feet. Yep. Oh. I, I would just keep throwing that. When you smile, that means it hurts. Yep. Caleb's trying to get in the inside right here. Yeah. Just keep, just keep using that, yeah. yeah that jab's sinking in every don't, time. Yeah, man. Don't fix what he oh. Oh, Big nice. overhand right by Sinkfield. Little MMA. Little MMA. Okay. It's a fight now, baby. This is a fight. Let's go. Oh. Don't stay there. Oh, he's that right hand's coming, man. Standing southpaw. The African god switches stances. He's back. Killer Caleb just has gotta gotta be a little bit more aggressive. He's gotta throw a little bit. Shoulder rolling. Yeah, he had. He only got three rounds to go. He has to keep his hands up, and he has to, I, I would say, counter right. back off that jab. Man. Right. That jab's messing him up. He can't get. He can't get. Uh, he can't get himself going because of that jab. Right. And only in three rounds, you're down one. Oh, yeah. you know, you're down oh one right here. You gotta change shit right away, or you it's have to downhill. He has to take over this round, or he'll have to bite down a third round and, and go out there swinging. Right here, you can see on the, uh, we got a TV right in front of us. Beautiful coaching right here. Looking the man in the eye, yep. teaching him things. Beautiful coaching right there in the killer's corner. Yep. Now we go to the African God's corner. Just sit, hey, do the same. Yep. Drink water, do the same. And sometimes early and when, like, I remember my first couple fights, man, sitting there looking like that. I, I didn't hear nothing in my corner. I was, <laughs> I was zoned out. So how long is this minute? And then it's over. Yeah, yeah. Round two. See if he gets back to that jab, messing him up. Killer in the blue corner, the African god in the red. Caleb, Caleb needs to, yes, he, he tried to time it there. Nice. He has to throw more. He has to use volume because he's beat on speed. Very well said right there by Brock Weaver. True to the truest point. If he's going to be the slower fighter, he's just got to throw more, be more inside, like, just got to be involved. Like the Diaz brothers, man. They're slow as crap, but the way they hit you is volume. And they just don't stop. They and they don't, don't stop. stop. We got fans behind us screaming numbers now. I would like to see Jod get Ooh. good shots there. But he's letting Caleb crowd him. He needs to get back to that jab, man. I would just stick that out the whole fight. Caleb really seems frustrated more than anything. Yes, like I said, I think that jab has, has, has took him off rhythm. It's, it's, it's. African God switching stances, orthodox and southpaw. Right, he has him against the corner right here. This is where Caleb needs to make a move and throw some volume right here. He's letting him escape. He can't chase it. Yes, look, he's cutting it off now. And now he's back chasing. Perfectly timed. Hey, Caleb's tough as they come, though. He's not wearing none of these punches, man. He's took some big shots, too. Both fighters in their debut, but it seems like the African guy is definitely winning just the uh, the mental aspect of the fight game right now in round two. Yeah. I 
give that round again to Ja. Yeah. A little more, a little more composed, smarter, harder shots. Uh, Beautiful one-two early in the first, yes. like the first minute there. Yes. Devin Adamson in ringside, and uh, like I said, this this card's got a lot of new talent, a new wave of uh, fighters here. Sometimes you're not sure what you're going to get, but so far, so good. Three excellent performances, three really big wins. I'm seeing another one right here. Yeah, hey, it's another good fight, man. I ain't, there, I ain't gonna, let down at all. I've never really been let down by the fight. Right. You know, but... How about a little matchmaking right here? Maybe a future African God versus Billy Rogers in the future. Man, that's hey, that awesome. is that is a great that is a great matchup. You called it, Devin Adams. You're welcome. Yeah. All right, Caleb. Caleb's got to come with it. He's got to he's got to bite down. He's losing this fight. He's got to stop smiling. He's got to stop frowning. He's got to get to work. Yeah, get to work. Get to work though. Stay right there and get to work. Nice, nice from Ja. Beautiful head move. African God moving like he's like he's in a Dragon Ball Z game, man. Aruka. Yeah. Action right in front of us. The great Brock Weaver, Dave Van Auken on the mic. Caleb has to stop worrying about that little push off there yeah, at the end. Yeah. Just, you got a box. You gotta put it, you gotta put the work in. He has to put the work in, man. He's getting ate up right here. Nice uppercut there by African God. Barely missed oh, it. Oh, nice punch though. I think he hurt him with that. Caleb? Punch. Yeah. I think Caleb might have caught him with that cross. Josh still staying real composed. No facial expression. Just eating him up when he comes in, man. Making him pay. He got away from his jab, but hey, the he, hooks and the uppercuts are working. He did. Caleb, this is uh, the round he wants to see more. Definitely uh, African God, round one, round two, a little bit more jab, a little bit more foot nice. movement. Look nice. at him, he's really standing still here now in the yes. third. That ja. will come with experience and cardio. Ja, ja tried to sneak one in there. <laughs> yeah. He said, that's for pushing me, he yeah, said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right there, bam. Right cross. Jaw's got a really good right cross off that jab, too. I think he looks like he's slowing down, but this, ooh. He gave it, he, he really tried to take him out there. He did. 10 seconds, five seconds. Both fighters are, yeah, end of the fight. Yeah. Nice, good fight. Ooh. Oh, okay. Round four. Let's give him a round four. <laughs> Jaws coach was upset. He didn't like that uh, unsportsmanlike. Yeah, it was, it was the headbutt that went too far. You know, yeah, the first yeah. there at the end, you know, that shit happened. But hey, hey. The headbutt too far. You're in there, your adrenaline's up. It's like trying to con contain a, a lion. Right. You know? Right. It's so hard to turn it off. It's so hard to turn it off, man. You go, you go into a different place, you, you go to yeah. war there for nine minutes. It's hard to turn it off. These guys will get in the back. They'll hug each other. It'll be all over. Yeah. I, Usually, I, after go to war, it's, it's the respect. Oh, man. Like, like I said, I fought my, Max Mustaki here. And uh, me and him had real beef, you know, all on Facebook weeks prior to the fight. And we got in here, man, and, and settled it. Went to war. He earned my respect. I earned his respect after the man. I'm so glad this is over with. Yeah, yeah. Let's train together. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's make each other better. Exactly. Now we're great friends now. I would love to see him get back in it, but Max got his own journey, man. A great debut fight. 27 yes. years young, the African guy with his first fight. Big yes. Island Fight 68 under the banner, the bright lights, Pensacola nice. Bay Center. Thought a really, really strong performance there. Yep. I'm uh, interested in seeing how uh, how long he's been training, actually. You know, we got we got Rance Jones Jr. over here in, in Caleb's corner. Former Island Fights Beast, also. 
my only five rounder ever was against Rams here. Really? Yes. For the win, the Allen fights win seventy title. Yeah, probably your only five round fight, MMA fight ever, right? Yep. Wow. And we can't wait to see you back, man. You had actually a, a strong summer, like that end of the spring, a huge icon co-main event win. Yeah, man. Uh, I get when I get on a little streak, I get on a little streak. Yeah. When I get hot, I get hot. You know, like I said, like I told you in the interview, uh, I think I got my magic back. Yeah. So I gotta, I gotta try to keep that in, the, keep that flame going. Game Bread Fighting Championship co-main event versus Cliff Wright. Brock Weaver is back. All right, guys, here we go right now. Ring announcer, Christopher James. Oh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, how about a round of applause for both young men? After three rounds of action, we go to our judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge number one scores about 29, 28, Sigfield. Judge number two scores about 29, 28, Mutchler. Let's go, let's go. And judge number three scores about 29, 28. For your winner, by split decision, from the blue corner, Killer! Killer! Mutchler!